Hey there, Touchboards Nation. What I want to show you here today using my computer is how to convert a smart notebook file using the Touchit Octopus software. Now this is the software that you're going to get with any Touchit LED that you purchase and I'm going to show you just how you can take your existing smart notebook files and continue to use them without having smart hardware. Let's we'll see we've got some text. This one we've got some more text and a countdown timer and I'll show you how to put that in your octopus file as well. We've got more text on these and uh, I like this one because you've got these nice teal colored bubbles if you will on the screen and when you click on them they disappear. I'm just going to show you how we can get around that in uh, octopus as well. So let's open up our octopus software and here you have it. It's real nice. Uh, you have your toolbar, you got your smaller toolbar that kind of floats on the screen there. It's nice because you can still just use what you have on your computer without it getting in the way. First what we're going to do is go to open, import our file. Um, uh, you don't have to save your lesson if there's nothing to save yet, so don't worry about that. Then we're going to have to go through here and select our notebook file. In this case we're going to select module 1, lesson 12. Just the file that I had. As you can see, instantly, or just about instantly, it comes over. Uh, you'll see you have all the text. And we click on all the thumbnails here. They'll, they'll all appear. Now you're missing those teal colored bubbles, but we'll get to that in a second. You can keep up there. Um, so this is the second page that had the countdown timer on it. And as you can see, it's not here right now, because uh, that's a smart tool. And anytime there's a smart tool, you'd have to use the equivalent tool in Octopus. So that's not coming up right here as it didn't carry over. But I'm gonna show you how to get around that in a second. Let's rearrange this here. When you convert the file from Notebook, uh, while it does have all of the original content like this, except for the smart tools, you know, that uh, countdown timer's not here. But while it does have all the original content, it may look a little bit different. I can just click on that, make it bigger, move it around and rearrange. All right, so I want to show you how to get that countdown timer in there. And um, basically, because it's a notebook tool, it's not going to carry over into Octopus. So you have to find the equivalent tool in Octopus to use with it. So if we go into our uh, science tools, you'll find a, a timer. And we can open it up here. I'm just going to set it to one minute. Click on mode. It'll start countdown. And you just click this big red dot here to start and stop it. And that'll work as your countdown timer. So you can hit reset, leave that there, and you're ready to go. When you save this as an octopus file, that countdown timer will stay there and ready to use the next time you open it up. So let's look at this page where those teal boxes were. Uh, again, we don't have those because that is a notebook tool, but we're going to just go to our shapes tool. We're going to select rectangle, some high opacity, and we'll make it red because it's nice and bright. And as you can see, I'm just going to cover up what the teal bubbles were covering up in the original notebook file. Now, once those are on there, I can click on them. I can drag them off to the side. I can shrink it. Or I can just go ahead and uh, delete it if I wanted to. So, not exactly the same as tapping on it and having it fade away, but it's giving you that same functionality. You're basically hiding what you don't want your students to see and then revealing it to them when you do want them to see it. And then we can even just make all those go away or move the entire box of text. <laughs> Again, because it's an object in Octopus now, we can do whatever we want with it. We go to the top of our toolbar and select Save As. I'm just going to call it Testing Smart Activity, save to my desktop. So you'll see it's saving here. It tells you it's saved. And now you can see it on the desktop right there. It's that little octopus icon. So I'm actually going to just close out of the octopus software completely. We're not going to save anything. I'm just done with it. Open it back up. And uh, I'm going to open up the Testing Smart Activity file and we'll see how it looks. So come back up here, go to Open. You want to save, there's nothing to save yet, so we don't have to worry about it. We find our testing smart activity, and see it opens up just as quickly as it did before. And you have to click on those thumbnails to see them, but 
as you can see all the pages are there and there's our countdown timer saved it in place we just gotta set it to one minute or whatever time you want and you start that countdown and we can click on this other page here uh, where we had our red boxes covering the equations they are still there you know once you pull it up you can just tap on it and you can drag it out of the way or as I showed you before you can minimize it close it out completely you know do whatever you want to do however you want to do that in class it's up to you you now have that option and when you open it up again it's going to be there unless of course you saved it after you closed it out what we got here is we're taking all the content that you had in your original notebook file we're transferring it into octopus so what does that mean it means you can switch over to a different piece of hardware a different lcd screen a more uh, a newer, more affordable LCD screen. Uh, you can take your software, in this case Octopus, and we can continue to use the same content and lessons that we used. So I want to go over some of the other tools in Octopus since we didn't touch upon those. So if you go over to the toolbar here, you'll see the drawing tool, uh, which is called Pencil. Uh, you'll see we have these pretty cool uh, line tools, lets you draw arrows across your screen. If you need to point at something. Uh, a torch or just a spotlight on the screen. You can magnify. Of course, there's undo and clear screen if you want to just completely wipe out everything you have there. Uh, they've even got capture tools, screen recording, screenshots, uh, so you can save things that you're working on. Uh, I've got some pretty cool science tools in here, which I touched upon earlier. And then there's even math tools, which I think is pretty cool because you've got numbers and symbols, calculators, number lines and even some math games, which is pretty neat. So while it may not be the exact same content and activities you had in Notebook, you still have some activities there, especially for math, which you see right here. I think these can really come in handy. All right, so what we're gonna do now, just a quick review, and I'm gonna use Octopus to do that. And open up our text tool. See, you can actually put text on your screen as well. Pretty neat, huh? And if you're using it from your touch it display, you can use the on-screen keyboard to do so. So uh, we can take our smart notebook files and convert them into Octopus software to use with our new touch it display. We're gonna then have a three-year warranty. That is a three-year warranty with on-site service on this new touch it display. And if you ask me, that is one of the best in the industry and you're not going to get a better warranty from anybody. Maybe slightly longer, but you're going to get on-site service with Touchit, not to mention a great staff supporting you. So if you've got any questions about how to use Octopus, how to convert those files, like you see right there, you can always contact Touchit, or you can always give me a call here at Touchboards. We're here to help. Well, that's about it, Touchboards Nation. You take care. Now once those are on there, I can click on them, I can drag them off to the side, I can shrink it, 